Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have our Gigabyte motherboard on A320M. So we are going to practice on it. We are going to install a CPU, some RAM, and an M.2 SSD. We are also going to try to boot it into the BIOS to make sure it's working. So let's get to it. So here's our motherboard. We have our I.O. shield. Looks like it came with a couple of SATA cables as well. So we won't be using the SATA cables or I.O. shield in this video. So let me put up a screenshot of the motherboard layout. So I marked it in yellow for the uh, CPU socket location and where we are going to connect the CPU fan. In green you have your DIMM slots 1 and 2. So you can see that 1 is furthest away from the CPU. And then you have red, the M.2 SSD. So let's bring out our motherboard. I'm going to reorient it so it matches the way I put up the screenshot of the layout. Here's our CPU, a Ryzen 5 1600. So we have our documentation right here. Looks like we have the CPU fan or they call it a Wraith cooler apparently. Looks like it is a five blade fan. Okay, now we have our CPU. So first thing we gotta do is unlock the latch. Next, we gotta grab our CPU and align the small arrows. I always thought they were small triangles, but according to the instructions, they are small arrows. So I'm gonna move it like this. So from where I am sitting, it's on the upper left corner. So I'll give you guys a close up as well. So I gently place the CPU, secure it in the CPU socket. And then we are going to point out the small arrow. So you can see it on the upper left corner there. So far so good. Now we are going to remove these. This is so that we can mount the CPU fan. Okay, so far so good. Oops, let me unscrew that. All right, next we wanna make sure that we have thermal paste on the fan. So this is a brand new um, fan, so it had thermal paste pre-applied. I just wanted to show the uh, screenshot uh, just because I was uh, you know, really impressed with how perfect that thermal paste was. So yeah, came straight out of the factory, so. It's been a long time since I've seen that. So now we are just securing the CPU fan. So the way I have it set up is I have the AMD facing away from the DIMM slots. So here's a top view. I'm just gradually um, securing the fan. All right, so once that is secured, we can connect our CPU fan. So you can see on the upper right corner there, it actually says CPU fan, so pretty hard to miss right here. Nice. So far, so good. Now we can install our RAM. So if you only have one stick, uh, you want to put it to the uh, dim slot one, which is the one furthest away from the CPU socket. So in this case, we have two. So I'm just going to line the notches and place it in. So let's see if I can... Okay, I didn't get it on the first try. Here we go. So that was in slot two. And then now we are going to place the second RAM in slot one. So yeah, if you only have one stick, go for slot one. There we go. So far, so good. Next we can put in our M.2 SSD. So it's a 512 gigabyte here. So I'm using a PH1 screwdriver. I'm just gonna gently remove that. Next, we are going to grab our M.2 SSD and gently place it in right here. All right, awesome. 
So let me hold it down and secure it in place using the flathead screw. Easy peasy. All right, so just a quick recap. So we have our M.2 SSD, our RAM, and the CPU and CPU cooler. So far so good. Next thing we want to do is we want to do our, our test. So I marked it in yellow. We are going to connect the 24 pin and the 4x4 pin. We're also going to put in a graphics card and the power switch, the front panel power switch connection. I'll give you a better screenshot. So here from the power supply, it's going to be a 4x4 pin and the 20 plus 4 pin. So this one's going to the motherboard right here. So like I said, this one's coming from the power supply. And then here we go, right here. So that's the 4x4 pin also coming from the power supply. Now we want to identify this. So this is from the motherboard. There's a plus PW minus. And we want to connect our power switch. So this is coming from the master master box Q300L. So let me show you. It's really tiny, so I really had to take photos of it. So here's the power switch, and I'm going to connect it right here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah. So basically, that is what we're doing so that we have a switch. Now we are going to install a graphics card because our CPU does not have integrated graphics. So now we are going to plug in an HDMI cable to our graphics card so that we can see what's going on. Now we are going to connect a mouse and keyboard. Okay, now let us plug in our power supply and turn it on. So we are turning on the power switch and then press the delete key to enter the BIOS. So I see fan spin and I see graphics card fan spin as well. And here's what we have. So the BIOS has been reset. Please reconfigure BIOS. So far, so good. So it is. it did boot up properly. So let's take a quick look at the settings real quick. So I want to double check the RAM too to see if we need to turn on the XMP profile. So let's see here. Let's see. So let's go into advanced frequency settings. So it looks like the, oh yeah. So if you look at the bottom, memory frequency is only 2133. So we might have to enable the XMP profile. So let's try it. Profile one, nice. So now it's on auto, 3200 megahertz for the RAM. So far so good. So yep, it is definitely reading the RAM correctly now. And then let's take a look. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, so look at the BIOS version, it's F1. Oh, it looks like it's not so bad. It's a uh, 9.30.2020, so it's not too far behind in terms of the BIOS version. So, so far, so good. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.